We've learned a little bit more about the victims this afternoon. There were a total of six people who were shot outside the church. It was a pandemonium, a scene of pandemonium right after that happened. The Many of those people who were shot were leaving a funeral inside the church. Six of them injured, four of them were taken by paramedics to uh, hospitals, two of them drove themselves, none of their injuries considered life-threatening at this point. Fortunately, no one inside the daycare was injured. And we just try to comfort them. I mean, it's, I don't know what else to tell them. We don't know what else to tell them. We just hug them and just tell them it's going to be all right. Sherry Savage says there is so much gunfire in her neighborhood. The kids at her daycare, two to six years old, already know to duck when they hear shots. And police say they heard a barrage of shots just after noon. They were coming from across the street at a funeral for a local musician known as Dusky Deman was letting out. His real name is Van Trees Christ. He was killed by gunfire earlier this month. Witnesses today heard a couple of shots at first, apparently fired into the crowd. Then many more, several dozen more shots. Investigators have placed markers indicating where shell casings are located, but so far they have no one in custody. After the incident happened, I do understand that when the police arrived, it was a very case chaotic scene, uh, crime scene extending uh, two blocks uh, with shell casings, multiple people shot. Police say they have not yet determined a motive for this shooting or even whether anyone in specific was targeted. They have just reopened Cottage Grove to traffic as they're wrapping up their investigation here. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.